Okay, I'm ready now, y'all. Okay, mm -mm. girl, get that hair. Get that head under control first. Hey, everybody. Hey, Peggy. Hey, hey Kim. Hey, Kim. Okay, can y'all hear me? All right, we in the house now. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. What I wanted to talk about today, hey, Tammy and Rhonda and Darlene. Hi, Connie. I'm doing good, Sue. How you doing? Hey, Sharita. Hey, Terry. Yes, everything is fine, Fit Mom. I have the flu. You Oh, you got the flu, Barbara. You, did you take the flu shot? Hey, Kim. Hey, Crystal. <clears throat> hey, Amanda. Y'all, I'm doing good. Hey, Dominique. Um, I'm looking so serious. Look, Felisa, girl, look, I've been emotional all day, okay? Just all day long. And um, that I didn't shut the bathroom, though, y'all, and it got that dark space back there. But anyway, um, I, I don't know why I've been emotional all day. You at the hospital, everything okay, Stephanie? Hey, Dylan. You wouldn't come empty-handed? <laughs> no, no, look, look, look. Oh, hey, Pat. Because uh, I guess everybody found out I was cooking, right? So everybody, well, I'm coming over there. I'm coming over there, right? I was like, wait a minute. How many people coming over here to eat, right? I knew my kids was coming, you know, of course. They husbands, wives, or whatever, the kids. But now everybody else and they kids and grandkids... I was like, wait a minute, I didn't get that much food. So you got to bring something so everybody can make a stretch, right? Wait, what happened? I missed something. I missed it. Hey, Denise. Hey, Martha. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> hey, Just. Right? Oh, hey, Pat. Now, I don't mind. I don't mind if I knew in advance. I wouldn't mind, but just let everybody have a little taste. I wanted your brushes and makeup palettes for Christmas, and he got them. I peeked in the box. I'm too excited. Uh-uh. Why are you peeking in the boxes, girl? Look, let me tell you about peeking in them boxes. Something going to fall over on you. I seen a video today. Girl, the little girl trying to sneak and open some presents. The big old box fell on top of her. She hollering for her daddy to come get the box off of her. He's standing there filming and talking about, why were you opening gifts? <laughs> I'm doing good, May. How are you? Yes, Ayana. No, no makeup on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, You think it makes us all emotional? Well, Barbara, then I was I was on Facebook today, y'all, and I know better than, you know, I'm scrolling through the seeing what people posting and trying to be nosy is what I was doing, right? And you know what happened when you go looking for something. You might find it sometime. You know what I'm saying? Girl, I'm just scrolling. I keep seeing sad stuff, sad stuff, and it just, girl, just about broke my heart all day today. Yeah, Sharita. So, yeah, girl, I've been kind of emotional, so. But, y'all, I got a, a phone call today talking to, to somebody, and it just made me think of tonight's topic, okay? I had something else in mind, but I'm going to switch it up. Hey, right out. No, Shell, I didn't see him. Y'all, I'm so, y'all, I promise y'all, I'm so behind on posting pictures. I got everybody's pictures that y'all been sending me. I'm just really far behind dealing with um, VLT Beauty. Y'all, it's just me. I got to answer every email, every, I got, I'm the whole company, okay? So I'm really far behind on unmistakably flawed posting the pictures. But, but, and I'm trying to, girl, trying to figure out Instagram. Girl, it's like a, you know, you know how teenagers laugh at old folks for messing with stuff. Girl, I was on that Instagram. Girl posted. To, I don't know what I was doing, girl. 
Okay, but anyway, y'all. Um, hey, Sandra, I miss you. Let you've been missing me, Sherry. Uh, I wanted to remind the kids if the kids is listening to me. Y'all got to be thankful, okay? Be grateful for what you're going to get for Christmas, what you've gotten your whole life from your parents, okay? I seen a video, and I shared it because it didn't make no sense. Um, it was some people lined up for these shoes. I guess Jordan made an old shoe come back, okay? And, girl, they... Told the door, you know, the door got the sliding doors. However, you get in the stove, girl, they pushed the door so hard, the door was coming off his hinges. They was trampling over people. And then it was like a news, it was like a news, somebody saw it on the news. And I was looking at this news interview, and this lady at the end of the interview, she said, hmm, Let me tell y'all what this lady said. Something about it. She's happy she can get the kids what they need. I heard the words. I don't know if anybody else heard those words that woman said, okay? She said to get them what they need. That's not what they need, lady. She need to rephrase. Actually, she need to just rephrase her whole life. If she think that's what life is about. $170, $180 shoes, and you're going to step on for somebody to get them? You're going to break down the dough to get them? It ain't worth it, y'all. These kids in this day and age, just before I came on, I was being nosy on Facebook. There was a girl, 16 years old. Now, you know, somebody could get the video and put whatever caption, so I don't really know what was going on on the video. But she cussing out her mama. Like her mama was somebody in the streets. But anyway, what I'm saying is this. Kids get mad at their parents for whatever reason, right? And then they want to be ungrateful because you didn't get, you got some, uh, what's them shoes called at Walmart, y'all? Shacks. You got some Shaquille O'Neal's when you wanted some Jordans. Uh, you want your mama to miss her rent to get you some Shaquille O'Neal's? Boy, you can't live. Go go try living in that shoe. Go live in the shoe. How about that? Y'all, th this don't make sense. It, it To me, my mind can't capture this, okay? My kids know. They already know. Mama gonna do the best she can, okay? And that's another thing. I'll tell you, I was talking to this lady today, and she was saying how... But I, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm, I'm not going to use her as an example because I'm going to mix it up and I don't want to get her words mixed up with what I'm saying. There's some people out, let me just say that there's some people out here whose kids are so ungrateful. Okay, now that they're adults, they say they they don't, you know, they mad at their mama for what happened when they was younger. Okay, now, now listen to this, y'all. I guarantee you for a mother who loves their children at that moment in time, when they were younger, she did, she made the best decision for that moment, okay? Kids need to understand that, okay? Ain't no parent perfect. Ain't There's not a single perfect parent nowhere. But for the parents who do love their children, y'all, we make the best decisions. We think, what we think is the best decision at that time. And a parent that really loves that kid ain't going to do nothing to hurt them, okay? So these ungrateful, girl, I'm, I'm telling y'all, these kids today is ungrateful, unappreciative. And that's the that season of giving. It should always be the season of giving, shouldn't it? And these kids need to understand what you've done for them for their whole life. It ain't just about Christmas and getting a gift. You done raised them their whole life. You done took care of them their whole life. You let them eat. Y'all hear what I'm saying? Half the time you didn't even have nothing to eat. 
because you had to give away your portion to one of the kids because it just wasn't quite enough. It just wasn't quite enough. But you're going to make sure your kids eat first. But see, that's the kind of stuff they don't see. That's the kind of stuff these ungrateful kids don't see. They don't see you in your bedroom behind closed doors on your knees praying, crying. Don't know where they next, they next meal coming from. Okay? Don't know how you're going to pay the rent. Girl, these kids better, they, they better stop. They need to stop. And these parents who's giving these kids anything they ask for, stop it. Stop it. You raising a selfish, greedy, ungrateful person is what you're raising. Giving these kids any, as soon as they mouth open, you run into the store. No, no. Ross got Nikes for $39.99. And, but see, that's fine for some people. See, for a person like me, when I was raising my kids, I couldn't do $39.99 as a single mom. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. But let me tell you why. Because I work. Because I worked. I couldn't get no, no food stamps. You see what I'm saying? I couldn't get that little piece of help. Okay? Because, oh, you, you work this, this, did it. You, you don't qualify. Man, I need some help. And these kids don't understand that, y'all. And they also need to, you, you show right about that. They, these kids need to understand. Once Christmas is gone, guess what's coming in the mail? The bills. They still coming, y'all. You still turning on lights. See, the kids don't understand that. You still washing clothes. You still in there running your radio or whatever, computer, whatever you doing in there. You still running up the electric bill. That bill going to come right after Christmas. I guarantee you that. Yeah, the more you give them, the more they want. They, 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 they don't appreciate. Kids need to earn. Okay? Yeah, they called enablers. You, you giving these kids anything they want. And they not appreciating nothing. You out breaking your back. I love Ross, but I love the consignment stores. Yeah, I'm telling you, thirty nine ninety nine. I I couldn't do it. And for me to this day, I'm not gonna do thirty nine ninety nine. I'll go get me a pair of Shaquille O'Neal's. Okay, I will go get me a pair of Shaquille O'Neal's. Your refrigerator skinny now, so guess what? that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. You want to eat? You want them hundred and eighty dollar? Uh, what's them the Jordans? Okay, I'm gonna get you them Jordans, but I tell you what, you better make sure you nibble on them things real slow, cause that's what you are gonna eat all month long. Okay, you try to eat that. You try to eat them shoes and see what happens. I bet that hundred and eighty dollars could have bought more groceries than the goodness you're gonna get out of them shoes. True, I'm a witness to all that you saying, and they recognize it now and have apologized. That's good that they don't apologize. That is so good. The more you give, the more they want, and and the more disrespectful they are. I'm telling you. Parents trying to give their kids what they didn't have as kids. I mean, that's fine, Sapphire. If you want to give your children uh, stuff that you didn't have as a kid, if you can afford it, go for it. But y'all, there's people out here who's going for it and know they can't do it. They know they ain't got that money. They know they don't. I'm telling y'all, these kids need to stop. It's peer pressure, Leslie. Working for everything, cause I would. That's right, member. Make them earn it. Make them earn it. Yeah, Denise, they'd have to eat that hundred. You could ask any of my kids. I ain't never bought now one of them no hundred and seven. Girl, I ain't even did no thirty nine shoes. Thirty nine. I can't. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Nope. 
Nope. You want some $39.99 shoes? You go get a job, and when you get your check, you hold out $39.99. That's what you do. What happened to giving just one gift? They don't do that no more. Everybody greedy. Everybody greedy. Yeah, cause they, cause they wanna, they wanna, they wanna impress their friends, cause they friends who who live in the mansion on the east side, uh, uh, they 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 friend over there in the mansion got them Jordans. So so the, the, this boy over here in the hood think he fin, his mama supposed to get him some Jordans, and then when the mama don't get him no Jordans, he mad at the mama, not understanding that the mama doing the best she can. Yeah, it starts with the parents. Champagne taste with sparkling water money. Look, Phyllis, you can't even put the sparkling in mind. Just some faucet water money. <laughs> oh, that tea is good, y'all. You hear my Christmas tree, Shirley? Got hired time for jobs. Yes. It broke your pockets, didn't it? <clears throat> yes, Erica. And I, I believe in that. And, and and I think that should be nationwide uh, school uniforms. Because kids run around here with these. I don't even know what they wear. Y'all what they wear? Gucci, Prada. I, I don't know what the kids wear. But they run around here wearing this expensive stuff to the school, right? They think this is a fashion show. But you look at their report card, they got D's and F's. Boy, you up there sharp, honey. Sharp, but girl, you sharper than a razor blade. But you dumber than a bag of bricks. Now, that don't make no sense. That don't make no sense, do it. Sitting up there, boy, you got about $2,000 worth of stuff on. But you don't know your ABCs. His parents had to borrow against the house to buy minimum gifts sometimes at Christmas. Oh, no. No. See, now that's unnecessary. Even if I have to, if, 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 I, if it ever come down to it, if I have to make my kids some gifts, I'll make some, some gifts. Okay? And better ask somebody. Y'all, that ain't right. Yeah, yeah, and then you got this other boy who wearing hand-me-downs, and they teasing him at the school, right? They teasing him because he ain't sharp like this other boy, right? Y'all, it ain't right. We need school uniforms. It ain't right. I told my son he would be in uniform until he get to college. My old school actually went viral worldwide for banning expensive coats first great thing they did yeah because then you got the other kids who who really want the coat and they live in the hood they know they ain't finna get the coat girl they go jack the boy for his coat now you're just starting a little criminalization kid a little criminal kid you wish you had some hand-me-downs You can make me get oh my kid your kids did school my kids didn't y'all buy name brand for, uh, yeah buy name brand stuff yeah trying to keep up with the Joneses man your last name Jackson sit down you know what I'm saying your last name ain't Jones you ain't got that. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Then you get out there trying to showboat with them shoes on and get clocked upside your head. And somebody take your shoes. Did you, Laquila? You just uh, talked to him about it? Hey, unique one. Y'all, these kids need to stop. They, they just have to stop it. Because I, I'm not understanding why we as parents work hard, work hard for the children. And if you, and, and I'm, I bet you a lot of y'all didn't notice this. But just this one, listen to this. 
as a parent, now tell me if I'm lying, as a parent, every decision we make, we think about the kids first, don't we? Don't we? I'm telling you, I'm telling you, you do. You do. You think about them first. And see, kids don't understand that. They, kids, I don't think kids will ever understand that until they have kids they self. Every single thing you do, you think about your kids first. Before you do it. Well, if I do this, so and so, little Johnny, you know, well, I better not do that. I'm thankful that my kids are not materialistic. That that is so good, Tawanda. Yeah, you do have some selfish parents too. But look, that's a whole nother subject. That's a whole nother subject. I'll go and do without before. Yes, Quintella, that, that's what I'm saying. And the kids don't understand that. That we as parents, we will do without. Whether it's food, whatever the case is, we will do without just so they could have. And they don't understand that. I wore the same pair of work boots for two years. My babies begged me to buy, buy some more. Yes, Martha, that's what I'm saying. As they grow older and then they get to having their own kids, then they then they kind of kind of get a little grasp of it and be like, oh, okay, so this mama was fussing about all the time. I didn't I don't let my kids wear hand me downs. Well, everybody ain't able, Ashley. Everybody ain't able. Some people have to wear hand me downs. They, they don't have a choice. They don't have a choice. Hey, Haley. Yep, Martha, your youngest see it now. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You wear what you have till it's time to buy new. That's right. Y'all see me, but I'm comfortable. So I don't I don't like a lot of clothes. I don't like I don't like fancy. I, I just don't like it. I learned this from my mom because I saw my mom struggling with. Yep. I changed my name on Facebook. Oh, okay, Taylor. You look, Tawana girl, I love Goodwill. Oh, Patricia, you sick? What's what's going on? I want to check Taylor's when they came out. My mom said she's not paying thirteen dollars for tennis shoes. <laughs> The, the, look, oh, hey, Pat, you remember them Converse? Them things used to be considered, them was sold at Walmart, and they was called Bobos. Remember, you get teased at school for wearing them Bobos. Some people can't afford it. This is what the conversation is about, is kids being ungrateful and getting what they want when their parents can't afford it. Kudos to you, though, for being able to afford, being able to afford it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, y'all. And and yeah, some kids are glad. Girl, they be waiting. They be waiting for them pants from big brother, don't they? Or big sister. They can't wait to get their hands on them pants. Okay? Yeah. Girl, I'm telling you. Ain't nothing wrong with no hand-me-downs. But I'm sure glad you able to... To, to get it like that. Hey, Baya. Jordan getting rich off these pants. That's what he doing. That's exactly what he doing, y'all. He getting rich off these people. I don't, I don't understand how you could pay that much money for a pair of shoes. Oh, thank you, Haley.
Really, Erica? He don't wear his own shoes. Remember those kids in Chicago that the school put washing and dry because the kids were embarrassed? Yes, Elaine. Yes, Elaine. That when when you just said that, oh, this is a Lipton tea, sweet Lipton tea. Um, when you just put that, I remembered it. I seen it on the news. There was a school. I think it was in Chicago. They put washer and dryers in the school because some kids were coming to school with their clothes dirty. Okay, now, as y'all know, everybody can't afford a washer and dryer. Believe it or not, yes, there's poor people in the world, okay? Everybody ain't got no wash and dryer. Everybody ain't able, okay? And that's what I'm saying, y'all. Be grateful for what you have, okay? That's why when people say stuff about my car, baby, my car is running. My car could take me exactly where your car taking you. Mine might do a little noise or a little rumbling, a little shaking, but I'm going to get there, okay? That's what I'm saying, y'all. You got to be grateful. Because guess what? While I'm driving in my shaky, rumbly, no air, no heat car, just freezing in the winter and burning up in the summer, it's somebody at the bus stop. And I drive right past them in my rumbling car, okay? They at the bus stop because they don't even have a, a, a raggedy car. Y'all better recognize some stuff. That's right, Sapphire. No monthly payments on my car. It's raggedy, but it's mine. And it runs. It's raggedy as all get out, but it goes. I'm telling y'all. In the school in Pittsburgh, they have a wash and dry. Do they, Marcus? I'm telling y'all. Please be grateful for what you have because there's somebody doing just a little bit worse than you and they will be grateful to have what you have because I know there's somebody who will be grateful to have my little raggedy car, okay? So now I'm grateful I got my little raggedy car, okay? Y'all better y'all better understand some things. Yeah, that's right, Sparkle. People don't recognize their blessings. And they run around here mad at the parents. Parents mad that kick, you know, don't won't let the kids come over. It's some people who kids can't come over. Some people kids in jail. Some people kids is buried. Come on, y'all. Quit the foolishness. Be grateful. Be grateful for whatever it is. Family members, be grateful for them. Because they could be gone by the time you wake up in the morning. Like that little girl cussing at her mama like that I seen on that thing. Girl had me so heated. Now if her mama die tonight, she's going to be the worst one at the darn funeral. Hooping and hollering. Yes. They do also, if the kids don't have beds, they give them beds. Oh, that's cool, Marcus. Yeah. That's another thing, y'all. Like Marcus said, that they even give them beds if they don't have beds. There's kids that don't have beds. You know what they do at night when they go to bed? They mama make a pallet on the floor. She try to make it as comfortable as she can, y'all, for them. Because it, she knows she can't afford no bed. So she's going to do the best she can and make that pallet comfortable as she can. Yeah, Stacy, because her mama took her phone. I'd have put my foot so far down her throat. Girl, they had to get, had to get the jaws of life to get my foot out her throat. Your son is in the ground and it's hard. See, Brenda, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I'm talking about, Brenda. And people mad at their kids, don't want to see their kids and whatever. You can't even see your son. Y'all better come on. She can smoke. What? Somebody said something about me smoking. The 
things equal. Yep. I don't have a bed. I didn't have a bed till I was 20 years old and could be my. Yep. Yeah, tomorrow ain't promise. Tomorrow's not promise. I'm telling you, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. Everybody's grave is six feet deep, okay? Everybody's grave. Yours, mine, everybody's. Okay? So, I'm telling y'all right now. Hey, Sonia. And then I seen that video. Y'all, this just tore my heart to pieces. The cops was pulling on the lady's baby, trying to get the baby out of her hand. Y'all, that tore me up. You taught them what it, what's a struggle? Y yeah. Read your post, Darlene. Hold on, Darlene. Let me find it. Darlene. Darlene, where is that? Did you write it yesterday? <laughs> oh, here they wait. You banging that nail in. Thank you for keeping it real. That one, darling. Oh, wait. I seen another one. Yeah, that was awful, Margaret. I seen that, and I've been checking up on it. They dropped all charges. They letting her out and everything like that. And they had also put a like a restraining order thing or something, whatever it's called, so she couldn't see her son anymore. Well, they dropped everything. And and I said, see, y'all, it, it's just ridiculous. Simply, yeah, because she was sitting on the floor, Sonia. If she, yeah. The video tore me up to how could women cops do that to another mother? Suzette, that's what me and my sister was saying. My sister was like, but those cops were women. So, I, I don't know, y'all. To me, the cops went way too far on this one. The, then they should have figured out another way, okay? Instead of pulling and jacking on that baby like that. You got your grandkids watching. Oh, thank you, Darlene. Y'all, I'm telling you, the kids today, it, it's something else. Wait, what happened to Sparkle? I, I'm going to go back. In 2010, my daughter went to bed and didn't wake up the next morning. She was 27. My grandson was five. Oh, Sparkle. Oh. See, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Wow, Sparkle. Wahoo. See, y'all, that's what I'm talking about. Did y'all y'all just see what Sparkle Phillips put? Her daughter went to sleep, went to bed that night, and never woke up. She never woke up, y'all. See, that's what I'm telling y'all. Yes. Yes, tell them. Parents, teach your children about self-love. I'm so heartbroken about the nine-year-old that killed herself. Girl, I seen that tell her. Because my thing is this, how do a nine-year-old know about how old was she? Uh, Sparkle's daughter was 27, Elaine. She was 27, Sparkle's daughter was. And, <clears throat> yeah, I, I don't understand how a nine-year-old knows to hurt themselves. But for something to be that tragic in a nine-year-old's life, all of that was so uncalled for, even though they're dropping everything, it's after the abuse and embarrassment. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, though. And that's another thing. Okay, somebody had made this statement, too, about that uh, when that girl got arrested. 
what a, let's say somebody has been sexually abused or somebody got raped or something, and then they got to go through the trauma of getting arrested. You know, when you get arrested, you got to strip. Okay. You have to bend over. It's like you see in jail. Yes. Squat, <coughs> cough, all that. Come on, y'all. Oh, Sparkle, that, that's on my mind now, Sparkle. Yes, y'all. I'm telling y'all, just that, that is my point of today's video. Social media has, yes, it does. That's my point of the video, y'all, was just be grateful. Be grateful. If you got a bad kid, girl, if you bad and hard-headed, girl, love his little hard-headed self the best you can and try to make him understand how much you love him. He, he'll, he'll probably turn around, give him a year or two. But if you're real hard-headed, girl, you might have to bust him up a couple times. Yes, yeah, Sparkle. Oh. Sparkle said, that's why I appreciate everyone and everything. Yes, yeah, Sparkle, because you never know. Because you never know. I heard a daycare voucher, which means she was trying to make it happen, but she doesn't make enough for daycare. She wasn't being lazy. No, she wasn't being lazy. She, what was, ha what happened? Let me tell y'all what happened with this woman. Um, she was, she went in, she took a day off work to go in to renew her daycare voucher because her voucher is, is finna expire, right? Or had expired. I don't know if it was getting ready to, but that's not the point. But she took a day off of work to go renew her daycare voucher. That's what she was using those services for to help her with her daycare while she worked. Hey, Dr. Naomi. No, Erica. Nowadays, you can't hit your kids. Who said that, Ashley? Huh. Oh, thank you, Chrissy. Thank you, Cynthia. Yeah, y'all, I want y'all to be grateful, okay? Be grateful for your loved ones, y'all. Because they... Ain't nobody's life guaranteed, okay? Be grateful. Love them. Love them while they are here. Girl, you laughing. I'm serious. I say, who can't hit what? <laughs> you better prove it. <laughs> Look, I say... Prove it. <laughs> Girl. You never know. I've I've coded nine times in the last few years. They brought me back every time. You bet I appreciate everything. That's right, Christy. My husband tried to kill me in front of his family and my 15-year-old son. I was eight months pregnant, and he tried to add my nose and my brain. What? Wait a minute. They had. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's it. And my nose bursting open like a tomato. All I had was when they had to do plastic surgery to my face. My baby son wound up coming into this world and dying in my arms. He lived three minutes. My husband only served six months in jail for the life of my son. Wow, Sonia. I'm so sorry, Sonia. You can hit them as long as you don't leave marks. That's right, Kimberly. She had had poor surgery the last couple of years. You right, Kimberly. Either I discipline her or the streets will. Mm-hmm. Ain't nothing wrong with disciplining your, your kids. That's why, right, Susan, I whoop my kids before I let the system whoop them, okay? I'm going to whoop them so they can learn. Oh, thank you, Chris. 
Y'all, ain't nothing wrong with disciplining your kids. Whether you stand them in the corner, tap that behind. And, and little kids, you know, three, four, tap that little hand. Let them know, hey, that, no. And I know some people don't agree with hitting kids. I, I do. I do. And, and, and ain't nothing wrong with now one of mine. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong with none of my kids. And they all got whoopings. I got whoopings. When I was, girl, I got some true whoopings. Stinching cord. Y'all remember y'all mama had them house shoes for about 27 years? Wasn't no bottom on them. They just be flopping around. Girl, my mama tear you up with that little floppy house shoe. Yeah. What if whipping don't help? I'm losing a battle with the devil. He has snatched my 17-year-old son. <clears throat> try something else. If whoopings don't work, try taking stuff away from them, standing them in the corner. Figure out what, what you need to do to, to make it work for you. And Granny would tell you, yeah, Bear, Granny would tell you up with them switches. I'm telling you. Hmm. And all this talking back and all that, we didn't do that when back in the day. I get my boys to. <laughs> it was an obituary. It was my ex-husband. The laws whooped him till he had a stroke. He died seven months later. Wow, Sonia. That, that is crazy. Yeah, you can try counseling, y'all. You could, you could try all kind of stuff. Like Erica suggests, uh, Valerie Murphy. Yeah, you could even try counseling. Is he easy to talk to, Valerie? You learned to keep your mouth shut after that, Delana. Hit him in the throat. No, you can't be hitting no cheering in the throat. <laughs> so you can't hit a special needs child, though, so you have to let them calm themselves down. See, oh, she said, see, you can't hit a special needs child. Ashley, let me tell you something. My nephew is mentally handicapped. He gets whoopings. He sure does. He sure does. He got to learn just like everybody else. And, and he's learning. Okay. Now my nephew is. Tanya, how old is Fonzie? 32? Fonzie is 30, I think. He's older than 30. He's like 32. Let me tell y'all something. My nephew is like 32. And he, he still wear diapers. He can't talk. He is over six feet tall, okay? My sister, his mama, she only four foot 11, 98 pounds soaking wet, okay? She takes care of him, okay? Let me tell y'all something. One day, he picked her up by her neck, okay? Pat, pat, she towed him legs up. Sure enough, ain't nothing right. Just because he, he mentally retarded don't mean nothing. He can get a whooping when he do wrong. Wait, beat him on the bottom of their feet, what? Why, Kimberly? I get on mine with the switch a little bit, sir. Mm-mm. He get whoopings? My nephew get whoopings? No, no, that's not true, Ashley. My nephew get whoopings. He sure does. He sure does. He can't talk. He wears diapers and he gets whoopings just like everybody else. He sure does, Ashley. Yeah, Chrissy, it, it's unbelievable. Because people don't want to discipline the kids. They scared. They nervous. And my sister ain't never went to jail. And my nephew is 32 years old.
Yeah, Sapphire, they do. That they, they are. He understands. He understands. I don't know about all of them, but he do. Yep, he understands. Uh-uh, Kimberly. He, he's such an intelligent house young man, but he is so disrespectful. I tell him not to do something. It's like I'm talking to a wall. I've tried everything, counseling, whoopings, taking things away. He tells me to my face that he doesn't need me, and I'm nothing to him. And he's how old, Valerie? You said 17? Valerie, you said he's 17? And he talking to you like that? Yes, Kimberly, I'm telling you. That's what I'm saying. Put him in military school. No, no hamburger stew. Oh, he's 17. Valerie, put him in military school. And, and if it ain't against the law, put him out. Show him, show him that he look. You don't need me. Well, get out, get out of my house. Put him out. Yeah, put him out. Look, seventeen, talking to me like that, boy. You better step on the other side of my door. I will straight put him out. Yeah, Erica giving you better advice than me, cause I put him out. She said, see what's wrong with him. Why he having these problems? She says it's never too late to drop kick him. <laughs> so that, no, that was Shanita. Girl. Yeah, Maritza, I would. I would kick him out. Yeah, he want to act grown, be grown, talk about he don't need me. Okay, then. Bye. Somebody said take him to jail, Valerie, so he could see what it's like. I know. And if he says he don't want to go, he don't have to go. He will tear up my house. He'll tear up your house and cuss me. He's a type 2 diabetic. Yes, Miss Moore. Say it again, please. Take him to a group home, Kimberly said. It's different nowadays. You can't put your child out and expect them to be okay. Uh, but Jay, you can't you can't expect for the mama to be okay getting talked to like that. I wouldn't be okay if one of my kids was talking to me like that. Well, he'd have to do the best he can, cause like he said, he don't need her. She tried the scare straight program and it didn't work. Beating the brakes off his ass. Oh, because acting like that, somebody else. That's right. That That's right. That's right. Your grandma, you, your mother used to take a wooden spoon to you, Dylan. It's other methods other than putting a child out. She done tried them all, Jade. Is you, Jade. She done tried them all. She done tried them all. I'm not okay. He's killing me slowly. Too many people depend on me. See y'all, that's what that's exactly what I'm talking about, Valerie. And then when I said put him out, somebody said uh some about what I the comment I said on putting him out. Well, uh look, like she said, she's saying it in her own words. She's not okay, y'all. What y'all want to do? Let him slowly let him kill her? No, baby. He'd have to go. He would have to go. For real. She said he's on drugs. Put him in a rehab. But she done tried that, y'all. Y'all didn't hear see her other comments. She done tried everything.
Yeah, Suzette. He gonna, he gonna, you know what's going to happen? He's going to start doing worse. And yeah, he's not a, 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 a baby child like that. He ain't no little child that need to be taken care of. First of all, he, he'd have to get a job. Maybe if he got a job, but then he can't get no job if he on drugs. Hell, and he ain't going to want a job if he on drugs. If he's killing you, he's killing the others that depend on you. Put his butt out. I'm sorry. Not sorry. She's a prisoner in her own home. See, that's what I'm saying. What's domestic violence, uh, Michelle? Val, wow, that's domestic violence. Call the police and let them handle it. What's domestic violence, Michelle? I didn't say nothing about domestic violence. What, to put him out? That ain't domestic violence when you put somebody out? Is that what you're talking about? He can't live with his mom. He need to be in jail. She can call the police if she's scared for her life. Her son treating her that way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, her son treating her that way is domestic violence. Yeah, you, you are right about that. Yeah, it, it's real hard to give up. But, but see, Erica, we're not saying give up on him. All we saying is... Let him see what it's like. That way he maybe he could appreciate what his mom is doing for him. I'm not, and, and by any means, Valerie, am I telling you to give up on your son? Never give up on him. Don't ever give up on him. Ever. Yeah. Yes, Gwenda. We love our kids. But let me tell you something. Do not let them kill you. Okay? Don't let them kill you. Pam, he's 17. I would I would put him out. I really would. Yeah, Shirley, it is really hard when you love your kids. Yep, tough love. You, you have to use tough love or else he's going to kill her. Send him to Job Corps. But will Job Corps take him if he uh if he on drugs? There you go, Miss Felder. To Kira. She said, love him from a distance, y'all. I'm telling you. But see, I I don't know if Job Corps would take him if he's on drugs. Boot camp. I think she said she already tried like the boot camp and the scared the the jail scared straight stuff. They won't take him if he's on drugs. See, so job court won't work. She got to get him into a rehab first. I have done all I can. I stay on bended knees praying for him. I'm afraid that the system is the only option left. I will never give up on him. I just cannot live like this much longer. My sanity, keep it. Sorry, y'all, my phone froze. Valerie, put his little butt in rehab. And if you can't do that, put him out. Get your sanity. And it's going to be hard to put him out, y'all. Oh, it's going to be hard, girl. You're going to cry. You're going to cry like a baby. Pam said he did his butt whoops. <laughs> she done, she done did that, Pam. She said she done whooped him everything. Yeah, he needs counseling and rehab. You're right, Kimberly. First of all, he needs rehab, and then he needs some counseling to see what's going on. Why he's so angry, and he need to talk it out.
But you know what? Uh, you, a lot of people are scared to get the courts involved because then if she has any smaller kids, they're scared that, you know, the court's going to, you know, send CPS be snooping and pooping over there trying to see what's what's going on. That's right, Susie. And rehab don't work if, if you don't want it. If, if he's forced to go in there, it's probably just going to make him even more angry. And re rehab, as soon as he get out, he's just going to go back to whatever he was doing. Yeah, that's what I say. I wouldn't worry about the courts, especially if I had smaller kids. Because then they're going to want to see what, what's going on with your other kids. Be like, man, get out of my life. He can get both in rehab. You work for the school system, Valerie. How is he getting the drugs? I'm sure he'd go hang out with his friends and get drugs, probably. My daughter was on drugs. I dealt with her for years, begged her to get help. When I figured out her addiction was killing me more than it was killing her, I had to find I had to find tough love. I told her with my Wait a minute, wait a minute. I lost my place. Here it is. I told her with my heart breaking to pieces, I'd rather see her six foot under than to see her with a needle in her arm. I nearly killed, it nearly killed me, but I put her out and a year later, she got help and has been, been clean for eight years. Yes, Susan. All right. I'm glad, Susan, you, you, you gave her some tough love and I'm glad she figured it out. If she let him keep doing her like this, they will get involved anyway. That's right, Kimberly. If she keeps continuing to to let him behave the way he's behaving in her home, CPS will get involved if she has smaller children sooner or later. I, yeah, I couldn't do it. He'd have to go, especially if I had other people that depend on me, other kids or, you know, maybe a parent or something that you're taking care of. No, he'd have to go. So. Yeah, yeah, Sheila, they mad because they can't have their way. You're right. Yep. <clears throat> the Salvation Army will help it will help Desiree. Yes, Valerie, we will be praying for you, Valerie, okay? We will be praying for you. She doesn't want her small children to see that and think that's okay. Well, here's another thing, y'all. Uh, and instead of her, me personally, I would be too scared, especially if I had smaller kids to call the police. Because you know how the police is sometimes, y'all. They act crazy. And, do, and then what if her son go to acting crazy with the police? And the kids going to start crying. The mama going to be crying. They're going to be beating up on the little 17-year-old. So it, it'll be a mess. It'll be a mess. Yes, it's a personal choice. That's right. That's right. Yep, yeah, personal choice, Valerie. You got to decide what to do. But Valerie, please do not let him kill you like you said he's doing. Don't let him do that. You you have to figure out what you need to do. At like 16. When he was 16, he would be 38 this month with six kids and one grandson. He is in prison. And guess what? He still gets high. He has to do it. Wow. See? Yeah, tell a lot of people are scared of tough love. Uh, I, I, I don't want to say they're scared of it, but then again, they could be. But you know, you love your kids, and you don't want them to go through nothing. But by him acting like that and doing what he's doing, he's already going through something. So I don't know. I don't know. It got you a little sad, Erica. Oh, don't be sad, Erica. 
Hey, Tanya. Yeah, y'all. So, I'm telling you, the, the kids need to be grateful, okay? They need to learn, even if, they, learn them to be grateful. Learn them to, to be accepting of what they have and what they don't have. They don't think their consequences when they are 16 or 17. Yeah, the stress is going to kill her, y'all. Valerie, the stress will kill you. For real, though. For real. So, I don't know, Valerie. She said, lock the door. Lock the front door. Girl, look. Y'all already know what I do. I, I lost my husband to drugs five years ago this Thursday. It really started affecting me so much. I thought I was losing it and didn't want to go on. The night he died, he was so messed up. Why do I always lose my place? The night he died, I was so messed up. I asked him to get out, and he got out for good, and... And live with his dad. I was over it and had enough. <coughs> I had no idea those were the last words he would hear. Oh, wait. He would hear. Oh, come on, phone. Choice to take it. I couldn't. And your children. Oh, thank you, Patricia. Uh, she said, because I need my, my glasses on. I probably do. Yep, y'all know what? I don't know. Um, I don't know, Valerie. But I know what I would do. But I guess every, you know, Valerie, every everything's different. Everybody's different. Okay? And I know me. I love my kids enough to where I will put them out so they can understand and so they can see. So he angry about it and don't know how to deal with the loss. She's like, you stressed trying to type fast enough? Yeah. Okay, y'all. Before they get to the age of 13, right? That's the way they're going to shape or mold them at 17. Yep. I agree with you, Debbie. I agree with Debbie. What'd you say, Erica? Wait a minute, y'all. I gotta go find Erica. That's Taylor. Erica, I don't see. Oh, here it is. On another note, I'm super excited to get my brushes and palette. My husband picked out the ravisher rip. Erica! <laughs> He's mad and hurt that his dad ain't there for him. Well, I sent him to go live with his daddy. He could take it out on his daddy. His father died in 2012. So he mad at her? I know, right, Erica? <laughs> <clears throat> y'all, I need to show y'all a few things that I ordered and I got. <laughs> Your mama would, yes, Julie. I'm done talking about, talking about that, y'all. I'm going to talk about makeup for a quick minute. Y'all, look at this. I can't even get it out. Y yes, Amy, you have a perfect picture of what the kids is going to be. And then it just is jacked up. Can y'all see that highlighter? Amy. 
Hey, Robin. Yes, Tella. Look at that. Just a little scoop, scoop, scoop. Look. Y'all see that highlighter? Mm-hmm. Can you wait? Can y'all even see it? She said, on a roll. How you know what that is? Who said that? Tell her. Tell her, how'd you know that was the honor roll? Yep. This is the honor roll highlighter from the crayon case. Yes. That's what that was. Because y'all remember she had that uh, Cyber Monday? Yes, Mimi, the crayon case. Is that from BoxyCharm? No, this is from crayon case. That was the honor roll highlighter. And then, guess what else I got, y'all, from Crown Cake? When they had that Cyber Monday sale. Now, what I'm going to show y'all is much better than the glitter drops. And then I'm going to tell y'all how much I pay for all this, okay? With, besides your palette, which I'm getting, do you have a favorite place for eyeshadow? Um, No, not really. Y'all, look. Look at these brushes. They look like pencils. Look. They look like pencils. Ain't these, look y'all, they look like pencils. But they're brushes. Y'all, for these, for the, and then they come in like a little, pen, look, look like pencils, look. Look like a pencil pack, don't it? Yes, Jeanette, those are so cute. For these brushes and this highlighter, I only paid $14. $14! Hey, Sonia! I only paid $14. Yes, I did. So, you like those, Kimberly? Uh, Y'all... Better get your unmistakably flawed shirts or a rec recommendation for somewhere. Shadow for my daughter in laws. Uh, Christy, Christy, Juvia's right now has a sale half off on Juvia's palettes. And they also have a, a deal on Juvia's. I think there's these six, like a bundle, six palettes for $67. Or you get some of the palettes are ten dollars on there. Go to juviusplace.com and uh there you go. I know, right? Uh juviusplace.com. Yes, Faye, I am a bargain hunter. Hey Ronald. Gotta lit this cigarette about four times. Uh, oh, but what I was saying about the shirts, you better get your unmistakably flawed shirts. Because I have a new shirt coming out, y'all. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, I made spaghetti today. Yes, yes. Elf has $10 everything. I'm about to order that now. You can order these. I love, I, I like these brushes, y'all. Um, yes, I have a new shirt coming out, okay? I'm not going to tell you what it say. What it say. Doctor will have, oh, dope, dope color. I don't use dope color brushes. Yes, Christy. You better go look at it, Christy. You don't want to clean them. Look, I ate them chipmunks so fast, y'all. You do have any medium shirts? I have small, medium, large, extra large, and extra, extra large. Oh, thank you, Sonia. Hey, Char. So, y'all, I have a new shirt coming out, okay? You leaving us hanging? What you talking about, Sparkle? Leaving you hanging how? You want a shirt? They on the website. Miracle on 34th Street. 
Oh, Cynthia, I hope things get better for you. The shirts are twenty dollars. And Val, does the shirts run big? Yes, they do. You can't leave us hanging about the new shirt. Oh, Susan, I can't. I can't tell you uh what the shirt gonna say. I can't tell you what the shirt gonna say now. I can't. I can't tell you that. Is it the crayon case? Crayon color case where I order from? What are you ordering, Christy? No, the, the palettes that are on sale, Christy, are at JuviusPlace.com. Juvia's Place. But what I did show you is from the crayon case. I was just showing y'all that I'm a thrifty shopper. <laughs> a good foundation brush. This one. This is a really good foundation brush. Sure, with the medium, the ones you show look big. So should we go? No, I wouldn't go down the size, Faye. I would keep it the same size. I know, right, Susan? Keep setting me up. Look how she walked back for us by when she talks about the new shirt. Because, y'all, this new shirt is cute. Be acting like Pookie. <laughs> yes, Margaret. I love it. This is the best brush. It is, Zelda. It's super duper soft. It's really soft. Where we at with them chitlins? Sandra, look. I was cleaning them chitlins. You know, I did 10 pounds. And, and I was like, oh, I just want to cook just a little pot. And then I cleaned the 20 pounds. I, oh, Lord, I want a pot. Then I cleaned 30 pounds. I said, oh, something. It, I was like, Pookie, y'all, over them, over them chitlins, okay? I turned into Pookie. I was wanting, like, oh, they're calling me, man. And y'all, then I got on the 40 pounds. I said, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I made me a pot of chitlins, honey. Where'd you get that brush from? Uh, this is a Real Techniques brush. I got this from Ulta, but they also sell them at Walmart, CVS, Walgreens, and it's $20. It's $19.99. Does it say beep beep? <laughs> no, it don't say beep beep. You got a smaller one? Yes, they do have smaller sizes for different things. They do have, but I just got this for the foundation one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Char girl, I was like Pookie. The girl, them chillings was calling me. You see the comment, Val? That was a different Christy. I'm going to Juvia's place after this. Oh, that was a different Christy. I just noticed the last name. Beep beep. <laughs> Does it say Pookie? No, it don't say Pookie. When shall we expect to see the new shirt? Um, I'm going to say it's going to be after the new year. She said, no, not beep beep. You got that set from Walmart? Do I put beans in my chitlins? No. I put potatoes. Claudine, that brush is everywhere. Walmart, CVS, Walgreens. Oh, Christy, did you get your coffee cups in? Selena, that's another surprise I got for y'all. I'm telling you, y'all have to constantly, at least once a week, check the website, okay? Check VLTBeauty.com at least once a week because what's today? Friday, I will be adding the coffee cups, okay? The coffee cups should be on there Friday. Probably Thursday, but I know for sure by Friday. You love the Ravishing Red palette. That's a good palette, ain't it? My grandma West Indian. They put butter. Be oh, they put butter beans in them. Your Walgreens don't never have them. You put potatoes and onions and peppers. See, I just put potatoes in mine. Oh, you're welcome, Christy. No, it don't say I meet. 
You don't have those brushes in Mississippi. How do you clean your brushes? I clean my brushes with my dishwashing liquid. I got it in the mail yesterday. I had a blast. I know I uh, I wanted to get another kind of cup, but right now it's just a regular, like, you know, just like a coffee cup. Yes, you can get so many looks out of one out of that one palette. Yes. And especially that uh vivacious vivids. I know, and that's what I said. No, Sonia, did you see my comment? I didn't see it, Sonia. What'd you say? <coughs> um so so when the coffee cups come in, the potatoes in the guts is to get the stank out. Yes, Lenore, it is. Uh, yeah, I seen that cherry palette. I didn't like it too much. You been on 12-hour shifts? Shifts? You use your makeup remover to clean your brushes? But then don't you still have to clean it out, Shirley? Because makeup remover has oils. And if you have that oil on your brush and stick it in your eyeshadow, it's going to mess up your eyeshadow. Get a makeup cup. Where did I get that set? What set, Melissa? It takes hardly any product to get... The look you want. Yeah, Selena, I'm telling you, my palettes are very pigmented. Y'all get them palettes. I'm telling you, them palettes are pigmented. Did you eat the 40 pounds of chili? No, Judy, I just I just cooked a little bitty pot. Look, look, each time the pot gets smaller. <laughs> what did Boxy Charm send this month? I got some good stuff in my Boxy Charm this month. <laughs> I'm on my way home from work. Oh, you on your way home from work, Lisa? Use Don I said I really need that shirt because with this long scar on my nose, I most definitely am unmistakably flawed. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I have I have some unmistakably flawed shirts left, but you want to have a makeup cup for the VLT brushes. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I see you, I see you, I see you. Would you clean yours with dial soap? Y'all, but I'm also working on some um y'all know that liner the gel liner. It's a gel liner. Oh, Hawaii, I hope you feel better. I'm trying to find a good gel liner for, for a VLT beauty. You have two palettes from BB. No, Barbara, no makeup on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I wash my brushes with Neutrogena Facial Cleanser. See, I wash my brushes with my dishwashing liquid. And y'all see how clean they come? Y'all know this thing was brown. Okay, y'all. I'm finna get up off here. Makeup is... Yes, makeup is on Saturdays. Show us what's in your boxy charm. I received an email today. My box will be late shipping out. You want to see what was in my boxy charm? Okay. I got this liner. A liner pencil. I got some. Something from Tarte. You use Don. You clean yours weekly. See, I clean my, um, I clean my brushes after every use. This is from Tarte. It's like a lip stain or lip whatever it's from Tarte like a lipstick like a lip gloss it's real pretty so you don't have so you don't have your own palette that you made up I do have I have three palettes Claudine I couldn't find your P.O. box I want to show off your shirt in what size? I couldn't find your P.O. box. My P.O. box is pinned below. Crown case is all sold out. Oh, and then there was a... This is a uh, a charcoal mask. Let me show you what else was in there. Do, 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 do. 
What else was in Boxy Charm? And I just got my Boxy Charm. I think it was yesterday. This was in there. This is a Wonder Beauty Dust Till Dawn. It's a, it's a palette for. It's a blush and highlighter. Maybe you can see it that way. Yes, it's a glitter gloss. Yes. And then, of course, you know you get a palette. You get a palette in every boxy charm. And this palette is from Suva Beauty and it's called Protege. Take the Can you see the colors? It's from Suva Beauty. How do you get the box of charm? She said, how do you get the box of charm? It's boxy charm. You just go to boxycharm.com and it's $21 a month and they send you stuff. But you get full size stuff. You don't get sample size like Ipsy. Ipsy does sample sizes. And in every boxy charm, you will get a eyeshadow palette every month. And then they send you the list of what each item costs. Like this palette was like $34, I think. $32 or $34. Uh, this was like, this was $30-something dollars too. Which one is better? I order for, Ipsy gives you sample sizes. I don't like Ipsy. BoxyCharm gives you full size stuff. You don't get sample sizes. Let me show you another palette I got in BoxyCharm. I got this Ace Beauty palette in Boxy. No, that's the box in uh, Boxy Charm. Yes, Boxy Charm has full size products. Ipsy has samples, and Boxy Charm has a palette in every month. Every every box has a has a palette, a, a eyeshadow palette. Hey Mercedes. Yeah, that those are nice, Hawaii. I like Boxy Charm, but I think I'm finna cancel. Oh y'all, um right before Christmas. Let, let, let me just say this. Y'all keep checking VLTBeauty.com. I have a lot of good things coming up, okay? I have a lot of good things coming up on VLT Beauty. I can tell you right now I'm working on um, the gel liner, waterproof gel liner. Um, working on the coffee cups. Those are almost done. Um, what else did we work? Oh, a new t-shirt. A new t-shirt. Hey, Sandra. And what else? Oh, and a few surprises. Okay. The other surprises I'm not going to talk about. I will say there are going to be some surprises within the next 14 days. Okay? Before Christmas. Before Christmas, we're going to get a surprise. Is there a waterproof foundation? Uh, You know what? I don't know, but I don't know if there is. But this one right here, this is CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. And this is that. this is the one that's supposed to be that doesn't transfer like if you give somebody a hug and it don't get and it's not supposed to get around your collar this is supposed to see it says uh transfer resistant right here right there it says transfer resistant so i haven't tried this one yet but i'm gonna try this one to see if it is really transfer resistant but i don't know who i'm hug but we'll, we'll figure it out <laughs> Oh boy, y'all crazy. So y'all, I'm finna hop up off here. You're gonna be looking, yes, Duncan. I'm telling you, y'all gonna miss out. Oh, I love you too, Tella. Hey, Kimwana. Okay, any more questions before I go about VLT Beauty? 
Any questions about VLT Beauty? Oh, thank you, Jeanette. Why are you canceling BoxyCharm? Um, to be honest, that's $21 every month. Oh, I love you too, Ashley. And that's $21 I got to do something else with. I really do. Can't wait to see. Yes, Zelda. On the 9th of January. You going to get you a coffee cup, Dominique? Oh, thank you, Sharita. Good night, Christy. Oh, you're welcome, Sparkle. And Valerie, uh, keep keep me informed on what's going on. And I will see y'all. I will come back, me, when you see me. I will be back on Thursday. Oh, I can hug you, Sonia. Hug you, Kimwana. <laughs> you look, y'all know I take a hug. Um, I will be back on Thursday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to have another talk, y'all. And y'all know our talks go from this end to that end of the spectrum. We be talking about everything, okay? Are you going to have lip gloss on your site? Uh, we trying to work on some lipsticks. But I don't know about it. We're we, we, we going to have to see. But I, I want to concentrate on, on the few things that I got coming up. I know, right, Teller? Oh, I love y'all too, Zelda. I will see y'all on Thursday. And y'all already know I need y'all to do something for me till I see y'all again on Thursday. I need y'all to always, always, always love yourself, okay? Mm -hmm. Good night, y'all.